Hello, everybody. My name is Rick McCutcheon. I'm a Dynamics 365 MVP. And today on a very special Partner Talks, I have Molly Fuchel. Molly, tell us who you are and what you do. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, congratulations, Rick and Partner Talks on celebrating your 150th episode. Woo Thank you, Molly. It's been a, uh, a lot of fun producing yes. this show in the last three years. Absolutely. Well, I'll have to get into asking you a couple of questions about Partner Talks because that's a big celebration, but I will introduce myself first. Hi, everyone. My name is Molly Fuchel. I am the president at Dynamics User Group, also known as Doug. We are a free community resource full of different programs offering educational content and growth opportunities in Dynamics 365, Power Platform, and Dynamics GP. Excited to be here. Okay, thank you, Molly. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, Doug is kind of the place to be now for, you know, local meetups and user group communities, but you also produce this great show called the Dynamics Con. Um, and we had a, a recent Dynamics Con virtual event that we worked with with Microsoft um, just a couple of weeks ago. So let's talk a little bit about what happened there during uh, Dynamics Con virtual and the Microsoft Customer Success Day. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, this was our fifth virtual event, if you can believe it or not. So the fifth Dynamics Con virtual, so excited to continue to bring our global community together in this way. And our very first time hosting with Microsoft the Customer Success Day. Uh, so very, very happy with what we saw. Tons of community engagement, 6,500 registrants, and oh my goodness, what a good time. <laughs> And we had, you know, the regular, I want to call it the regular, it's a great event, Dynamics Con virtual. Then Microsoft came in and did this customer success day on day two. We should talk a little bit about that. Yes, absolutely. So uh, I'll first break down day one. You know, we try to really continue to set ourselves apart in the virtual eventing space. And we have the community voted in content. The competition was fierce. We had over 320 session submissions and only 45 could make it on the agenda. So over 3,000 people voted, which was exciting just to have that interaction and some fun little competitions on social amongst our speakers to see who would win and um, get to see that day play out like we've done in the past with the pre-recorded sessions and live Q&A with our speakers. And then we had the customer success day, which was a different way to approach the, the product learning. So instead of doing tracks broken up by products, we did things like implementation, optimization and expansion, migration into different products. So it was a fun, different way to offer, again, value to our user customer uh, community members. And all the sessions were led by Microsoft experts, and they followed the same kind of cadence that we've traditionally seen so much luck with at DynamicsCon, which was having the session and then that opportunity to ask that speaker questions in a live Q&A. And we also broke out into roundtables, which allowed Microsoft to be a direct connection to those customers and user members who had product questions, who had concerns, who needed a direction, who, who needed guidance or direction on where to turn. So it was fantastic to see Microsoft really um, owning and, and living up to their goal of really connecting directly with our uh, user community members and more on that day. And, you know, it was an exciting two days of content. And for those who missed it somehow. Um, will it be available on uh, your channel or on YouTube to view? Great question. Yes, it will. So if you visit dynamicscon.com, we do continue to send updates on when we plan to post not only the pre-record sessions, but on our live, or excuse me, on our dynamicscon.com website, you'll find all of the PowerPoint decks from the presentations. And then as Rick mentioned, we have a blossoming YouTube channel for Dynamics User Group. Recommend everyone subscribe because then you will be the first to know when we start dropping all of the session content on there in April. Okay, so Molly, that was the past. Let's talk about the future because we've got Dynamics Con Live coming up in Scottsdale, Arizona, May 22nd to 25th. I'm reading it right over your shoulder. Um, you know, I was in San Antonio last year and I gotta say, you know, it was great education but it was fun. I mean, getting together with Dynamics community and more of a an event which was, you know, built around community conversations. Uh, tell us what's going to happen in uh, Scottsdale. 
Absolutely. So this will be our third in-person event. So we love bringing our global community together virtually, but we all have learned through COVID how much we miss just being in the same room as each other as a community to celebrate that camaraderie and, and to learn together and to have fun together too, like Rick was saying. So we really do try to incorporate a day full of learning where your brain just can't take any more, but then also have a lot of fun at night. So you make sure that you're making the most of your time. So I have to kind of laugh and remind people, bring good shoes because you're going to be on your feet and moving around all day. And then you're going to be with your community, fellow community members at, in the evening. So prepare for that for your feet. And then um, we have over 115 sessions that we're offering across six tracks, which I'll talk about in a moment. And we have over 100 speakers. Rick is one of them. Rick, do you want to tell everyone what your session will be on at DynamicsCon Live this year? Yes, I'll be um, working on a session around uh, combining your customer journey uh, into your uh, Dynamics application. So, you know, if you've got CRM, if you've got marketing automation, if you've got portals, how do we pull this all together uh, to be consistent to the way your customers want to buy from you today? And, you know, that session is really applicable to anybody from a GP, BC, SMB implementation all the way up to an F&O implementation. So I'm very excited about uh, bringing this curriculum forward. Absolutely. And to piggyback off of that, so we, of course, will offer content for the BCCEFO users, along with Dynamics GP and, of course, Power Platform. But we are also introducing for the first time our cross product room for very much what Rick was just saying for all of our community members who are really using multiple products these days an ERP system and power apps, things like that. So you don't want to miss that. Check that out on the agenda. We have a whole bunch of different types of content for different types of users out there and learners. And whether you're coming into Dynamics Con Live just wanting to learn more about the Dynamics 365 space or power apps, or you're a very seasoned user of the products, everyone will be welcome. There's a large variety of learning levels that you'll see. I want to add something that shows the right size, right? So if I'm going to go there, it's not a show with, you know, 8,000 people on it, 10,000 people, you know, it's going to be less than a thousand. I think it should be more, but, you know, and I think it's the right size. So if I want to, you know, talk to, let's say the ISVs or partners that are exhibiting there, you're not standing in a booth with a hundred people trying to have a conversation. And, you know, very quickly, I think you're going to meet people that are just like you, kind of in the same boat as you are, because you're going to be going in the same sessions. And I got to tell you, by going to community events, I've had friends globally now for over a decade, and that's exactly how we met, while sitting in the same session. We always promote personal and professional growth at Doug, and that's something we really try to capture at this particular event. And we do it in a very I don't want to say overly casual way, but just very welcoming and warm way. So to Rick's point, it, it, it is a less intimidating environment. All the sponsors have the same equal, equal real estate, if you will. So it just doesn't feel overly intimidating. Um, so it's just really set up with a very mindful floor plan to make it very open for you and very freeing just to have a conversation with who you whom you are there to talk to or whom you would like to learn more about. We uh, now we just commented on the smaller intimate feel. We do have over 70 sponsors and growing, including of course Partner Talks is a media sponsor of ours. Um, but again, the environment is meant to just be very, um, very welcoming and warm. And so we encourage you, if that's more your style, this is definitely the event for you. So Molly, thanks for talking about Dynamics Con Live. Do you have any closing remarks for our audience? I sure do. Let's ask Rick a couple partner talks questions. This is the big 150th episode celebration. So Rick, why don't you tell us your rose and your thorn of partner talks, your, your favorite and maybe your least favorite part of it? Well, you know, the least favorite part is like any podcast, any video blog, you got to keep doing it, right? So you know, I'm trying to get these out on a weekly basis. So, you know, people, you know, see it, but it is a lot of work lining up guests, lining up time. But I got to tell you that I think I've made more friends over the 150th because, you know, I've interviewed all these partners that I kind of knew and I kind of knew their businesses 
but I'm finding a lot more about them and their businesses. And I find like when we go to Dynamics Con live, I've got 30 or 40 more people to sit around and, and, and talk to. So it's really Partner Talks has helped me to build relationships. And I think we're trying to make it, you know, a place where partners can go to get their messages out about their businesses. So hopefully, you know, we'll carry on to 150, 300, uh, 600 shows and, uh, and beyond. Oh, very exciting. Is there any other favorite moment you'd like to share with all of our viewers of Partner Talks? Well, I think being able to get involved, you know, as a media sponsor with Dynamics Con is a, a big thing for us. I want to thank you for that uh, because, you know, I'm big about community and, you know, that's how we met working with communities. And uh, I think you give me a platform uh, to get the partners messages out to our community. And if I can help you in any other way coming back, I think uh, that's been uh, it's been a, a great part of this whole journey. Well, cheers to 150 episodes and to the next 150. Okay, Molly, I'll be here for the next 150. So I'm going to thank you for your time and uh, we'll be catching up soon in uh, Dynamics Con Live in Scottsdale. See you all in Scottsdale. <laughs> Bye for now.